Hello everyone. Today I am going to set up our project. So firstly I am going to create one folder here. I have created one folder and I have named the folder at Ubola cap okay inside this folder we will have to create two folders one for the mobile app one for the web app okay Okay, we have created two folders here, one for the mobile app, one for the web app. Basically, in mobile app, we will create two projects, one for the user, one for the driver. So, we will create two folders here also. Okay. Inside mobile app folder, uh, I have created two folder that is driver app and user app. Okay, and we will create this application application into Flutter. And in the web app, uh, we will create uh, we will also create two folders: one for the React app and one for the Node Node.js app. Okay. So for the mobile app, I am going to create projects okay, inside these folders, inside driver app and inside user app. So firstly you need to download Android Studio. So go to Android Studio official website and you can download from here. Okay. And then install this Android Studio into your system. And after installation you will get this type of interface but you will not get this uh, flutter project okay so you need to go inside plugin and then here you will have to search flutter and then install this flutter plugin and similarly for you will have to install dart plugin okay and just visit flutter official website and download sdk according to your specification pc specification like windows mac os so i am using windows so you can see this is the sdk of this flutter you can download this and you can set path of this sdk into your system okay If you have already installed Flutter into your application, then no need to do anything. Okay, so I am going to create Flutter project inside these both folder. Okay, so here I am going to click on this new Flutter project option and just choose Flutter here and uh, here you can mention sdk path okay and then you will have to select project location here so just select project location so my project is inside desktop okay Inside desktop, uh, I have one folder that is Ubola cap, and inside Ubola cap, we have mobile app folder. And firstly, I am going to create a project of driver app. So just select this driver app and click on OK. So you can see 
path is selected here okay and you can mention any name here project name and you can define package name here so here you can mention any package name here okay according to your need and here you can select the platform on which you are uh, creating this project so i am creating for android and ios so i have selected these only and i have unselected this linux mac os wave and windows okay and now i am going to create this project driver app project so just press on create button So you can see our driver app project is created successfully now I'm going to close this application and now I'm going to show okay so inside driver app you can see we have successfully created our application okay and now I'm going to create project inside user app okay so similarly we will click on this new flutter project just choose flutter and here you will have to select sdk path of the flutter and just choose the path so here i am going to select user at this time okay just unselect this and change the package name like uh, and you can also change the project name but i am not changing okay and just create this so you can also see uh, we have successfully created user application also okay And now I'm going to show you the folder. Okay, so here inside mobile app, we have user app also. Okay, we have successfully created project inside user app also, and inside driver app also. Now I'm going to create the Ubola app. Okay, so inside Ubola app, uh, we have also created web app folder. Okay, so here. <laughs> Firstly, I am going to create React app. So for React app, I have already created one template, which is inside my GitHub. Okay, so you can also download from here. So this is my GitHub profile. So just go inside repository, and then you will get this template. This is totally free. We will customize this template and use into our project. Okay, so this is the template. Which I have created into React JS. Okay, so I just I am going to download this. So you can see our admin panel is downloaded successfully. This is my GitHub profile. Okay. And thus, then just go inside repositories, and then you will get this admin panel template React.js. You will have to select that admin panel React.js template. Then you will get this template here, and just download this from here. Okay, so our admin panel template is downloaded successfully. Now I am going to copy this. Okay, and just go inside desktop, and we have we have created one 
we have already created one folder that is the name of Ebola cat and inside we have I am going to paste that folder okay that we have recently copied okay admin panel template and now I am going to extract this folder here so just extract this and now I am going to remove this uh, zip file okay and you can see we have extracted ex extracted folder okay and now i'm going to rename this so here i am going to uh, rename renamed as front end okay so my react js application name is front end and now i'm going to launch this application so here just write cmd just open command prompt and here we will write code dot so the project will open inside vs code editor so you can see our uh, project frontend project is um, open inside visual studio code editor now i'm going to open terminal and just run npm install okay so all the packages will be installed But before this, if you don't have any Node.js Node into your system, it is not installed in your system, then you'll have to install into your system. So just go inside uh, Node.js official website and just click on this recommended for most user and download this and install this into your system. Okay. And open command prompt into your system. Okay and after installing this node.js software you will have to check whether it is installed successfully or not so write node uh, v ok so you will get the version if you will not get the version then you did not uh, install node.js you must download and install this software ok for react.js application and node.js application so before before installing this you will have to install this software into your system now you can see all packages installed successfully here ok so now I am going to run this application and check whether it is working or not so write npm start So it will redirect to the browser ok so in the browser you can see our project you can see uh, uh, this is the login page okay so you can click on this login button and you will get this type of dashboard okay I have created this template uh, and we will modify into our project okay so when we will click this add store then I have created one dummy marking here okay and when we we'll click this view store then you can see that this is the data table here you can filter any products okay 
you can select or deselect any product okay and pagination is also there so we will use this uh, template and we will modify okay now I am going to close this and now I am going to create one more here okay inside Ubola app we have mobile app driver app and user app we have already uh, created project inside those folders and inside web app we have created frontend folder and inside frontend we have our react JS application template we will modify into our project okay and now I'm going to create one more folder that will be the name of backend okay so here uh, we will create node.js project inside node.js project we will create all apis and we will integrate into the frontend application and as well as in mobile application okay so just create one more folder here now i'm going to open this folder okay open uh, that backend folder which we have created okay so open folder just go inside desktop and just select backend okay and open this inside vs code editor now open terminal and inside terminal we will write some commands like npm in it okay so you can see it is asking for package name so you will have to assign package name here so i am not going to assign any package name you can write any package name version you can assign i am not going to assign any version description and anything okay you can assign anything just press enter 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 and then the project will be created and you will get the package.json file here inside your project folder okay now i'm going to install express okay so here npm i express and we will also use node mode okay npm i express and node mode and just press enter so you can see uh, we have successfully installed express and nodemon okay and now i am going to create one more file here that will be index.js okay and uh, inside package.json inside script we will use after test start and here we will use nodemon and then write index.js so by default index.json will be the landing page okay we can start from here okay so just save this file and here i am going to write console.log hello okay and now i am going to go inside a terminal and write one command that is npm start so it will start our server okay start this index.js file so we will get this hello in console okay so you can see here you can see uh, hello is printed here so our project is successfully set up backend project okay so that's all for this further we will see in next video okay